All right, so this little guy's coming along here, but uh, I gotta start speeding things up a little bit because it's getting time for chicks here soon and we wanna get about 30 chicks in here. So I'm gonna hold off on the windows for right now because I'm still not 100% sure on where I wanna put them, but we need to start at the center wall here. And we've gone back and forth on how we wanna do that, but what we've decided is we're gonna make a wall that's completely solid all the way up with no chicken wire because once this thing gets established and we've got chicks on one side and eventually full grown chickens, and then we've got the feed and the nest boxes and everything else on the other side, we don't want all their dander and dust and everything to just completely annihilate the clean side. So we're gonna keep them sectioned off completely. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start on this nesting box and then I'm gonna build the wall around that. Let's go. There's old Henry. All right, so here's our little chicken house right now, and this was a makeshift deal. It was actually on the property when we bought it years ago, and nothing was in it, and I just threw it over here and set all this up temporarily because we had them in another barn before, but we moved them out of there. So we, oh, there goes one little girl now. We moved them out of there so that we could get a different shop built. Anyway, long story short, they're kind of in here part-time right now. This is the next bo nest box that I built probably 10 years ago, and we've used it ever since, just built out of OSB. It's 12 by 12, each individual section is 12 by 12, and then 16 inches high on the inside. And each divider, I think I just ran out of material so the dividers only go halfway up, but the chickens didn't seem to mind it and it worked really well. I have read, now these chickens, our chickens have laid really well in here over the years. We've never had a problem with these nest boxes and they've really liked this space, this size in particular. Uh, you can see right now a whole bunch of eggs in there, but they use the different boxes. It just depends on, you know, how they feel, I guess, but it's working out really well. I'm gonna build our new nest boxes pretty much the same size as this, but I'm gonna build dividers up all the way for each individual nest box because I've read quite a bit that they really like that privacy and each hen really should have their own private area. Now this has worked so far, but we're gonna build them a little bit different now.
got our nest boxes all finished up now. I've got six of them here, about six foot long, and I did them a little bit bigger than I did the last ones. So these guys are actually two inches deeper that way. So 14 inches total by 12 inches and 16 inches high. I'm going to come back and we're going to have a, probably about a two by six coming up about this high to hold in the shavings. Aside from that, these guys are done. Now you'll see I put a strip along here. I still have room here to make a lid because this part is going to be on the barn side of the chicken coop. So now we get to get the middle wall built here and then we're going to shove that guy right into it.
so the wall's starting to come together fairly nicely. So you can see my nest box is down there. We framed that out right here, and that nest box is going to get slid right up in between these two by fours. I'm going to have some bracing. You can see I've got the other two pieces, and they're about every two foot under there. But because of the unevenness of the floor, I'm going to have to maybe trim a little bit off of those little pieces there, and then I'll put a couple more little blocks in there just for support. And then we'll just go ahead and wall up the rest of this with just some studs. All right, so our wall's up, it's all coming together. We got everything in place. Now, the nesting boxes here are not completely in there. They're just kind of set in right now, so I haven't officially attached them yet. The next step is I'm gonna finish kind of walling off up to four foot along each of these walls here, and then we're gonna skin everything with plywood on the inside here. So here's one last clip of what we've got going on before we finish this video out. It's getting hard to film this thing because it's a small little space inside here, but we got our wall finished out here. Got a spot just for the nest boxes. There's the nest boxes there. My wife helped me pull that out. I'm gonna, I need it out of there so that I can get the plywood against the other wall, mark it out, and then I can cut that hole for it. And then I went ahead and finished out the walls here. So I'm going to have plywood against these faces here. We're going to have the siding on the outside of the whole thing, but all that will be covered up eventually. This will be inside of the chicken coop and we are moving along guys. So that's going to be it for this little shot. Next step is going to be getting the flooring for this, which we're talking about doing linoleum. So it protects all of this wood here the subfloor and then we can pull it up if we have to and put new stuff down at some point in the future just depending on how bad it gets from all the chickens being in here but it's going to take some time to be able to get that because of all the craziness in the world right now but as soon as i can get those supplies we're going to continue moving forward we'll finish this up for you and show you what we got. All right guys, so I think that about sums up what we're doing right now. We got the wall put in, we got everything kind of finished out on the inside of the chicken coop part of it, and the next step really is putting in the flooring, which might be a problem because of what's going on in the world right now. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get the flooring that I need for finishing this thing out. In the meantime, I'm gonna post this for you because I know that some of you are really excited to see this guy get finished up, but Hopefully, you know, the world craziness comes to an end soon and I'm able to go get the rest of the supplies and we can move on with this build. But in the meantime, enjoy this video. Plenty more plant videos to come. They can't take away gardening, guys. So I can propagate and film for the rest of my life if we have to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. A fantastic week, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.